100 million brilliant lights, but it is also blessed with more than 7,000 islands, which is filled with numerous sceneries that is nothing short of breathtaking. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, when an opportunity disguised as a diorama was brought up by your teacher mathematically, we have decided to showcase the priceless beauty of the Philippines. We take pride in being an advocate of our country in our own little ways such as this. We want to impart to everybody out there, Filipinos or non-Filipinas, that the Philippine Islands is truly beautiful and amazing. With this being said, it is important that these gifts by nature is taken care of and preserved. The sceneries will remain beautiful so long as they are protected, but failure to do so entails a great danger not only to nature, but us. This diorama embodies five natural and man-made scenes in the Philippines from each of three major island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Now, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up your seatbelts and fasten your subs as we go along a tour to the Pearl of the Orient Seas. As an advocate of nature, we made the main pieces of this diorama as eco-friendly as it could be. We used recycled styrofoams, twigs and branches of trees, bamboo stalks, colored papers, shells, newspapers, disposable cups, bamboo skewers, popsicle sticks, artificial green grass and flowers, yarns, paints, and lights to make this masterpiece. The foreign techniques were utilized in this diorama. This include, but is not limited to paper mache, painting, sculpture, and the art of combining different things to create a universal product that is both pleasing to the eyes and overwhelming to the soul. This is a product of a week-long labor coupled with sweats, grime, and tears. Our foremost effort was not in making this diorama, but in making sure that each one of you would learn to appreciate the beauty of the Philippines as a whole. We had tried to incorporate sceneries from all over the Philippines to showcase the holistic beauty that is in this country. In Luzon, we have Banawi Rice Teresas coupled with Mayon Volcano. The Banawi Rice Teresas is a 2,000-year-old structure made by the ingenuity of the Ifogaps. It is a sculpture that is not carved from a stone or wood, but from a gigantic mountain playing out by the natives to satisfy their needs for a farmland. On the other hand, Mayun Volcano is dubbed as the world's most perfect cone. Located in Kamaligalbay, its beauty and rich history has never failed to impress natives and foreign alike. In the Visayas area, we have Jardinisitas in Bohol and Boracay of Caligo Atlan. Jardinisitas is made from a thousand multicolored plastic roses and tulips that light up during nightfall. It has never failed to give amusement and pride to the Boholanos up until now. The second, Boracay. Boracay is a world-class beach that is included in the eight wonders of the world. Its white sand beaches and flame-themed night parties has been an attraction that never ceases to impress day in and day out. Lastly, we have Maria Cristina Falls in Mindanao. Aside from its naturally captivating the skating waters, it has been also a source of electricity for the people in the area. For the sake of recapitulation, I would say it now, and I will say it again. The Pearl of the Orient Seas is an embodiment and epitome of paradise. It is blessed with everything pleasant and vibrant. Now, it is up to us to take care of these gifts, for just like seasons, these things will not stay forever. Let us be a warrior of our own nature, a protector of our own environment, and a caretaker of these rich and bizarre islands. Halina plakbayin ang islang tiyak mong ilibigin.